because I boosted them a lot in singles, so I don't know. Well, we'll see. Hopefully, you're able to pull it out. Thanks a lot. Alright, thank you for doing a nice interview of Salem. That was pretty nice. Get some more view in there. It looks like up next we have um, Apple and Biddy versus uh, Shadow and his roommate, Dr. Broccoli. Now Dr. We're Broccoli has started playing about a week ago. He's been training him for this tournament, Shadow. Very nice. I I'm pretty interested. Uh, Shadow, definitely one of those old school pros. Yeah, uh, he says he wants Dr. Broccoli to be the best Marth main in NJNY eventually. Yeah, he said he came up to me right away when he got here. He's like, Pierce trained this guy. I was like, dude, I'm washed up, but we'll see. <laughs> All right, let's see how this works out. All right, Dr. Broccoli knows how to roll. That is good. <laughs> like, I'm being serious. I've seen no, he is, don't know. he is rolling. <laughs> yeah, he's actually rolling a lot. But as long as you can apply that fair pressure, I'd say that's a good basic uh, thing to do. Biddy going in right now. For those of you who do want to pick up Marth, one thing that you should know about Marth and doubles is that he is actually a very defensive character. Yes. Marth, yes. he has very, very powerful aggression. Ooh, that DI. Yeah. He has very, very powerful um, aggressive tools, but in doubles, the way Marth functions aggressively is that he has to really commit to a lot of his aggressive forms or set up juggles, and he's not really able to do that so much in a 2v1 situation. So Marth going in first is not optimal. However, he does have very high defense, oh, even no. in doubles. So if he able, if he's able to play back and really capitalize and set up team combos with a partner like Meta Knight, he can really be phenomenal, especially against teams that suffer against high levels of aggression, like Alamar and Toon Link. All right, he might be having, um, I think he's a little nervous, like he forgot how to upbeat when he's trying to recover. And somehow <laughs> Alamar did not make it back just there. So it's not too far, but actually they're even. Yeah, Shadow is putting the game on his back. He says, all right, I don't know who this guy Apple and Biddy are, but I'm not about to let my disciple get exposed yeah. so early in the tournament. And he is putting the game in the knapsack right now. I appreciate Shadow for making, uh, helping out his friend and um, showing him what it's like to do doubles and come to a tournament too. Ooh. Right now, Apple trying to put down a lot of pressure on the blue team. Completely Wait, taking out both stocks. That is a double kill after a massive amount of damage from Olimar Toon Link combos. Yeah, well, very, very shadow? defensive team, but Apple is showing that it doesn't have to be defensive only. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I forgot how aggressive Shadow is, and I was just reminded of that nice up B. All right, so it's still not looking too bad, but they are like nearly a stock down. Shadow needs to get some more kills. Dr. Broccoli is having some trouble uh, not taking damage, but right now he's doing pretty well. Almost a good edge guard right and there. And Shadow really trying to put the game on his back. Wow. Takes out two stocks from oh Biddy in less than a minute. And, and then Alomar. takes out Apple stock. <laughs> this is what we call carrying. Oh no, this is, I, I give props to Shadow for doing so well, but Dr. Broccoli is keeping his stock pretty well this time. Wow, it's funny because Shadow lost his second stock so fast. So I was like, damn, maybe they're, you know, pretty good against Shadow. Shadow right now. is not even concerned with Dr. Broccoli at this point. He just wants to kill the Toon Link and win the game. Nice. I wonder if they can keep this up for the second match. It looks like most likely they're going to win, Shadow and Dr. Broccoli. There it goes. Nice F smash. Ooh. And that's the game. Shadow putting the game in a knapsack and just carrying it. So awesome. much. Put Dr. Broccoli on his back. He said, don't worry, dude. I got you. We're going to take this out. Oh, man. Let's see where the counter pick is. I'm expecting a stage with lots and lots of space because Meta Knight Marth will really capitalize in those close range situations. But Alomar and Toon Link, they really want the space so they can utilize the projectiles and make safe plays. Narrow's watching really hard right now. I don't know if you guys can see him in the back. I wonder what he's contemplating. Well, he is watching, but it looks like he's looking at the melee set going on right next to them. Shout uh -oh. outs to melee. Shout -outs. Uh, there's a really big melee tournament going on right now. I think big, uh, big house too. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I believe it's, um, what's his name, Robin Harn. I forgot his uh, smash name. Yeah, big shout out to all those Melee players. Got all a right. lot of love for you. Pokemon Stadium. Game 2 Stadium. Be a little trouble for Dr. Broccoli because, you know, recovering on a stage isn't as simple as it may seem. Especially that little retarded ledge, I would call it. Apple showing he's not ignorant of how to lay down some damage with Olimar, but Shadow's a little tricky to contain. And he'll have to keep it up throughout the course of the entire set. What would he you wants say to contest that with Shadow. Dr. Broccoli needs to do to improve on his doubles game? 
I think he really needs to learn how to sit back and follow up on the aggression of Shadow. That's really where Marth capitalizes. Yes. Don't try and make too many plays on your own. Your Marth and well, Marth like he has the tools to make plays, but the thing with the thing about Marth is he doesn't have the tools to contain a two v one situation. Once he commits to making a play, he's gonna need to utilize his second jump to really make something happen in a lot of situations. And once he does that, because you know the approach of Oh, I'm gonna jump in here and fair you. Yeah. Okay, cool, like, you land a fair, but how do you follow that up? You're gonna have to either dash in, and that means you're going through somebody, or you're gonna have to utilize your second jump. So Mark, he loses a lot of ground, because once he throws out that second jump, he's left relatively defenseless. Very defensive. So he, he loses a lot of ground. Oh, I was worried a little bit where Dr. Brockley thought he was going. I thought he, he might have got a little lost. <laughs> we gotta get that pulse fire. Mark might need a map in there wow. somewhere. Wow, Shadow is going in. Like, he's looking invincible right now. I'd love to see him in singles, actually, after this. <laughs> All right, and it looks like... It looks like Shadow's doing pretty well, not getting so much damage. But, yeah, as you can see, Dr. Broccoli going head up against Biddy. He's a little bit inexperienced. I, and, you know, I look forward to in the coming months seeing how he improves. But right now, if he just manages to protect Shadow and follow up on Shadow's place, he'll do a lot better. Don't try and make too many plays of his own right now. He's a little bit less experienced. Just really let Shadow shine and just let Shadow demonstrate his prowess. Ooh, he almost killed himself. That was a right nice there. fadeaway up air into up B recovery onto the stage. I mean, it's easy to say he almost killed himself, but yeah. who knows he didn't do that on purpose? It was very safe, and it, it netted him an advantage. So. <laughs> I, I don't even know how he got off the stage. It looked like that he was got a nice fair up smash combo utilizing the stage transformation. Ooh, oh, that could have been it right there. It could have been a nice hit at least. Ooh, a nice dare. Okay. I really like the you know first. Uh, you know, fifth frame off the ground, back air right there, that was impeccable. Ooh, that up B, I don't know how it did not connect. Toon Link with that nice spacing. And a nice kill right there. Shadow has two stocks, I'm assuming he's gonna keep it. He's going to need to keep yeah, it. Yeah, he's gonna need to keep that, he's at really high percents. He will not be able to carry this out at 116 on his last stock. But right now, he, he has two characters that he knows how to play against, and the Shadow really likes gimping. Yeah, like that up B almost tried to do right there. At 38%, trying to kill an Olimar. Up smash. Both Unfortunately, white <laughs> Apple was not keeping good track of his lineup. He up smashed with a white, and that will keep Shadow in the game a little bit longer. Excellent utilization of his glide there. Not landing in a spot where he could be easily punished and killed, but instead going somewhere where he could land safely. Unfortunately, he did not capitalize on Apple's whiff up smash. He tried to, but made a small technical error and then cost him his stock. However, he has another. And Biddy is very high percent. He manages to separate the two, but he gets a little gets a little bit caught out. Alright, we got Meta Knight trying to take out the two link. There it goes. So now it's just Apple versus Shadow. This is gonna be tough for Apple right now. Up air, up air, up B. Alright, I don't know if um Apple's gonna be able to handle all this pressure right now. But if he could, that would be very impressive because it would be another game for them to go through possibly another chance to win this because they did do well the first game and they're not not doing that bad here either and shadow is notorious for pokemon stadium actually if you remember back in the day we used to call this shadow's windmill right here yeah i can imagine him up being in tornado like a maniac that oh. di will cost them the set and it goes 2-0 to shadow and, and dr, dr. Broccoli. Broccoli. new teams